Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the screen on a Dell Inspiron N4010 laptop. And I got my screen from uh, Amazon. There are various ways you can go about it. You want to make sure that you match it up with the model that you have and the size. So this is a 14 inch LCD screen that we'll be replacing today. First you want to prepare your workspace. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips head, very small screwdriver. If you have one with a magnetic tip, that would be excellent. And then something to keep the screws in. There's going to be two different types of screws, so I have two containers for those. You want to remove the battery from your computer. And you also want to be conscious about uh, electrostatic discharge. So you can work in bare feet or in socks, or you can wear uh, an electrostatic discharge bracelet. I'm in my socks. That works for me. So then, now that we know that there's no power going through the laptop, we can set about to removing the screen. And so the first thing we're going to do there is remove this outer frame, which is called the bezel. On these laptops, you don't have to unscrew anything to get this frame off. But it is recommended that you start at the top corners. And so you'll hear uh, clips coming undone, and there's also some adhesive uh, that will be coming undone as well. So you want to be careful. Slow and steady wins the race. <clears throat> And one thing you can do as well is press in towards the screen with your thumb. I'll create a little bit of the force you need to remove the bezel. And you're at the bottom. It's a little more challenging, especially over the hinges of the laptop. And the, this bezel itself is kind of thin. Okay, so we've removed the bezel and we're setting that aside now. So then, what's holding the laptop screen in place are some screws. So there are two at the top and then there are two at the bottom. We're going to remove the screws on the top but just loosen the ones on the bottom so that we can access the LCD screen. So now I'm grabbing my small Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the screws. And as I said, we're going to remove the screws at the top of the screen and loosen the ones on the bottom. And as I said before, it's good to have a dedicated place where you put the screws. It's no fun if you lose them. Top two are removed, and so now we're going for the bottom two. And the bottom screws will have black uh, sort of spacers around them. We're just loosening the bottom ones because we're going to flip the screen of the laptop forward so that we can access the screws in the side that are holding the laptop screen in these metal brackets. You want to be careful when you're flipping the screen forward. Uh, that you don't let it fall. There will be three screws on each side and they are black. And that is where that magnetic tip screwdriver would come in handy. I don't have one so I just have to be a little extra careful.
keep in mind that when we reassemble the screen, it's just going to be the opposite of the procedure that we're doing now. What I'm doing here is trying to get enough pressure on the screwdriver to get the uh, screws to come out. They're a little bit stubborn. I want to be careful about stripping my screwdriver. But it seems like just giving a good amount of pressure inwards seems to be helping. So now I just have one screw left. Now we've removed all the screws. And so the laptop is laying flat on the keyboard. Uh, rather, the LCD screen is laying flat on the keyboard. And so you'll see there's a connector. And then there's also some tape that is helping the screen adhere. And so what we're going to do is take off the tape. <coughs> And then we need to remove the connector, which uh, the, the connection point is very thin, uh, but it will come off. So again, you want to make sure when you're ordering your laptop screen that you get the right part numbers. Uh, in size. This particular one is 14 inch and glossy and you also want to make sure that the connector is in the right place. So then it is time for us to get out our new laptop screen. With my particular screen uh, there's some masking tape that's holding on a plastic sheet uh, and I'm going to remove that and then you'll see there's some yellow tape on the side which I don't want to remove. So now I'm placing the LCD on top of the keyboard like I had it. Now we're going to connect the connector. And you, you're going to do this by sliding it into place rather than putting it in over the top. You might need your wife's help on this like I did. And so then once the connector is in place, you'll hear a click like that. Then you're ready to put the adhesive back in place. And you're ready to begin reassembling your screen.